Hello, I'm Professor John Kelly and this is the Weber Auto YouTube channel. In this series of five videos, we are going to look at the amazing history of automatic transmission fluids. From the very first automatic transmission fluid that was really just engine oil, uh, all the way up through the latest 10-speed automatic transmission used by General Motors and Ford, the Dexron ULV, ultra low viscosity fluid, and everything in between. It's, a, it's an amazing uh, journey through history to look at how things started with the very first automatic safety transmission back in 1937, and then the world's first fully automatic transmission, the hydromatic transmission right here to my side, uh, in 1940. And then following that through the years, the different technological changes that made the existing fluid not good enough and so they had to make changes to the fluid to make it work with the newer transmission designs. We will take a look at Ford's jump into the automatic transmission world uh, in 1950 for the 1951 uh, model year. We'll take a look at uh, Chrysler's jump into the automatic transmissions in 1953 and what they did before that with something called a fluid drive that is both a hilarious way to do things and a, an ingenious way to do things. We will take a look at Toyota's automatic transmission fluid history starting with 1963 with the original two-speed Toyo Glide and all the way up through today's eight, nine, ten speed uh, transmissions. So it doesn't matter if you have a one speed transmission in an electric vehicle or one of these old two speed transmissions or a three speed or a four speed or a five speed or a six speed or a seven speed or an eight speed or a nine speed or a ten speed. There have been very specialized fluids developed for those transmissions to work properly, to function properly, to have a long life. And it's important that you are aware of what the fluid specifications are so that when you go to purchase fluid, you know what to look for and what to look out for also. There are many misleading labels. There are counterfeit fluids. And I will show you what to look for on those bottles of fluid that seem to be advertising to work in any automatic transmission and how that can be a problem for your transmission uh, especially if you don't know what the specifications were for your particular vehicle uh, which by the way the owner's manual always tells you uh, what the fluid specification was when the vehicle was made i will show you where you can purchase the actual fluid specification document all hundred pages of it if if you want for each fluid and how there are upwards of 30 different tests that have to be run on that fluid to make sure that it meets vehicle manufacturer specifications. Not just the four or five fluid specifications that some bottles of transmission fluid claim to meet or exceed manufacturer specifications. They need to meet all of them. So we will get into more detail of uh, what to look for with that. So in our next episode, we will start with General Motors automatic transmissions because they developed the world's first mass-produced automatic transmission for the 1940 model year. And they beat all their competitors to market with this automatic transmission. And as I said before, it wasn't until many years later that other vehicle manufacturers finally uh, started offering automatic transmissions. But all of those other vehicle manufacturers from General Motors to everyone else, they all used the fluids that General Motors developed. General Motors had to develop a fluid that would work with their transmissions, and they learned some hard lessons that made them make improvements to their fluids over the years. Also, fluids just naturally improved with better refining methods of crude oil into base stock uh, oils. Uh, we will learn when transmission fluids turned red, because they weren't red until a certain point. Uh, they looked just like engine oil. And we will take a look at the many cans of automatic transmission fluids that I've collected over the years. That, along with service manuals and fluid specifications and additional research that I've done, help put together a timeline of what happened with automatic transmission fluids. So in our next episode, it will be on the history of General Motors automatic transmission fluids. In episode three coming up, we will look at the history of Ford automatic transmission fluids. From the very first 
ford omatic transmission in 1953 all the way up through the latest 10r80 10 speed automatic transmission and the fluids that were used in the very first transmission all the way through the latest transmission i have 12 different automatic transmission fluids here behind me from ford that cover almost all of their fluid specification changes over the years and so we will take a look at those uh, fluids and the technological changes that made those fluid specifications change in the fourth episode we will take a look at the history of chrysler automatic transmission fluids beginning with the incredible fluid drive system that they came up with which was really a fluid coupling hooked to a manual transmission uh, and the special fluid that was required for that thing to operate properly and and the different variations they had of that system over the years until they finally developed their own real planetary gear set based automatic transmission this one right behind me here the 1953 chrysler power flight two-speed transmission and so we will take a look at the fluids that were used in all of Chrysler's transmissions from the very beginning of the fluid drive through the first power flight and all the way up through today's automatic transmissions made by Chrysler. Now, of course, Chrysler, along with other vehicle manufacturers, use transmissions sourced from other manufacturers like ZF and Ison and, and so on. And we'll mention those also. Okay, in our fifth and final episode, we will take a look at the history of Toyota automatic transmission fluids. From the very beginning with their 1963 two-speed Toyo Glide, all the way up through their latest Lexus 10-speed automatic transmission. Toyota started developing their own automatic transmission fluid specifications in 1993. Prior to that, they used General Motors specifications. So we will look at why they started developing their own transmission fluids and what the current fluid is today and everything in between. Also, in all of these series, we will take a look at the fluid change intervals and what lifetime fluid means. And it varies from manufacturer to manufacturer and vehicle to vehicle and, and how you drive. But uh, I'll show you actual service information, uh, technical service bulletins telling you how long that fluid is designed to last including the toyota world standard fluid here behind me where the tsb on the fluid release says 100,000 miles so i look forward to exploring the amazing history of automatic transmission fluids and if you're a transmission nerd like me uh, you'll enjoy it if not you'll be bored to tears but uh, but that's pretty typical of my youtube channel until the next episode thank you for watching